Good day. I want to go cover something about boat trailers and about traveling. Probably one of the most important things that you're going to run into if you, uh, like I am, the nearest place I have to go fishing is probably an hour and 15 minutes. So I travel more, uh, more miles to put on my trailer than on my boat. So it's very important that I have upkeep on my boat trailer. If you've never had a... Uh, boat trailer axle to go out, I promise you, you don't want this happening. So this is one thing that I constantly do, probably ever so, I'd say every two or three months, I come through and I pump new grease in. Now I check the grease in these wheel bearings regular, on a regular basis, but I'm gonna show you what I do. About every three months or probably four months, I come through and do this. I don't have no bearing buddies, I really like this, uh, this this setup that's on this trailer. It has a grease fitting in the end of the axle, and that has a uh, it's going to have a uh, hollow spot that runs down the middle of the axle, and it comes out in the back. So when I begin to pump grease in it, it's going to push all the old grease back out to the front. And I've got something here I want to show you. So first thing I done is just took the little rubber cap off. And I've just got a little container here that I cut a hole in. And I'm gonna put this on here, just like this. I just got it where it wedges up on there. And it's gonna hold. And we're gonna take the grease gun. And I want you to watch this. You can see some old grease that's in there. You're backing into water. And as we begin to pump on this, I want you to watch this you're gonna see this old grease start to come out. And I put this container on here so it's able to catch this old grease. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pump until I start seeing fresh grease. This grease pumps through and it's coming pushing from the back side and starts pushing out the front. And I want you to watch this. It's very important if you're traveling up and down the road, fishing tournaments, uh, you're on the road a lot, pulling your boat thousands, hundreds and thousands of miles a year. It is important that you keep this up. If you neglect uh, keeping your wheel bearings greased, I promise you, they're going to let you down and it's not going to be good. It's going to be time consuming to come back and get them fixed. Uh, you can uh, run the, uh, the spindle. Had to get a new axle to put up on her. Had to get someone to weld you a new axle on. It's very time consuming if one of these goes out. So that's the last thing I want happening. Y'all can see all this old grease coming out. And we're going to pump it till we get new grease coming. And hopefully it won't be long. Oh, I see some blue grease. And I use marine grease. It's supposed to be waterproof. I don't know if it makes a lot of difference, but I was seeing that it does. It seemed like it don't mix, that water don't does not mix in with it. But if you don't have it, my one of my favorite sayings is uh, some grease beats no grease. So if you don't have marine grease and you just got some kind of wheel bearing grease, listen, put something in them. Do not run them dry. Like I said, I do this probably every three, four uh, months. But I put a lot of miles on this boat trailer. So the last thing I'm wanting is for this to happen, and grease is pretty cheap. Probably about $5 a tube. Probably takes about a half a tube for each axle, for each side. Now you can see we got blue grease starting to come out now. Look right there. You get a close up of that. We start out, it was green, and as water mixes with it, it will turn a green looking color. So you can see what's going on here. We have got some good fresh grease in there you get a close-up of this so I know now 
that this axle is full of fresh grease. So uh, make it a habit. Check, you, uh, check your axles every so often. I try to do it if you go on a long trip. I know I'm going on a long trip. Uh, every two or three trips, I come out here, pull this little uh, rubber grommet off. I look in there to make sure there's no grease, uh, that I got plenty of grease in it. Check your wheels on the uh, outside, also on the inside, because if you have a seal that's going out, it's going to start slinging grease from the inside. It will sling it on your side, your wheel, on your, uh, on your fender. If you see that, you have something wrong. Get it fixed, because if not, it's going to cause you trouble down the road. God bless you, and have a great day.